Hey, my name is Kent Raffin and I'm a chef here in Dallas, Texas, and I'm here to show you how to use your brand new Coyote Grill. One of the first things we want to teach you is make sure that you get everything set up for a great cookout. So you want to make sure that uh, you line your drip tray with a little bit of aluminum foil. This helps keep it clean and it gives you a really easy way to get everything out of there. About every third or fourth use, you want to change out your foil so you don't ever have a bunch of grease down there. It makes it really easy to clean. If you're hooked up to natural gas, you're good to go. If you have a propane tank, you want to make sure that your propane tank is turned on and full. You don't want to run out of gas in the middle of the cookout. Then we're going to get ready to turn it on. First thing you want to do is make sure you open the grill. You don't want to turn the gas on in a closed grill because that can be a little dangerous. And we're just going to turn the dial on the burners that you're going to want to use and we're going to flip our starter just like this. Now we've got the entire grill set up. So we always want to start the grill about 30 minutes ahead of cooking time because two things happen. Number one, you want to make sure it's plenty hot for whatever you're going to cook. At the same time, like we talked about earlier, you want to give it some time to get any of that uh, carbon off the grill. Of course, we're using a new grill today, so it looks great. But as you use your grill, you'll build up a little carbon on the grill and heating it up in plenty of time gives you really a good way to kind of keep it brushed off and clean. Next thing we're going to want to do, we want to use our grill brush. We got a beautiful grill here, it's brand new, so we don't need to worry about that, but you, you can use the grill brush. Once it's hot, you're gonna just simply brush off any of the carbon and make sure it's all really nice and clean. The next thing is, and this is kind of important, we wanna oil the grill as well before we cook. I have a little grapeseed oil. If you're using olive oil, stop doing that because it flares up. Uh, grapeseed oil is really good because it's a high temperature cooking oil and it works really well to be able to help clean your grill. We're going to use an old kitchen towel, not one of the fancy ones, get in trouble for that. We're going to use an old kitchen towel, a little bit of grapeseed oil on here. We're just going to rub this down and just kind of rub the grill, it's just that simple. Now it's time to make one of those critical decisions and that is how hot is the grill based on what we're cooking. If you're cooking fatty meats like a ribeye or a strip, something fatty like that, you want to make sure that that's got a lot of heat. So high heat is where we want to be on that. We want to really get it crisp. We want to sear that fat. Think a piece of bacon that gets crisp. If you're cooking on uh, you know, medium heat, we're going to be cooking chicken breasts like this, no skin, or fish like tuna or swordfish, any kind of delicate fish like that. Medium heat is great. Uh, we don't want it too hot, but we want it hot enough to give it a nice sear. And then if you're going to be cooking things with skin on it, like a chicken breast with skin, turkey, duck breast, you're going to want to use a really low and slow grill. And what I'm talking about there is about 300 degrees, almost as low as you can get that grill. You want to put it on skin side first and let it sit there the whole time, really getting crisp and rendering and getting nice and golden brown and then flip it right at the last minute. And that'll be the best barbecue chicken you ever had. Let's cook. We got the grill on high. This is going to be for our fatty steaks. We got a strip and a ribeye here we're going to cook. We're going to go right on the sear burner to get a nice sear. Right now, just like that. Okay, so the chicken now, remember we want to cook medium heat, which is where I've got this grill set. This is more of a medium setting right here. So we're going to start that on a medium setting. Same with the fish on the medium setting. Get a nice piece of tuna right here. All right. Put a piece of swordfish on here, just like that. One of the other things I suggest during the cooking time is to be able to kind of base with a little bit of uh, grapeseed oil. We want to kind of make sure that uh, we keep everything looking really moist and fresh. It also helps knock off any carbon that might have got caught onto the food. Okay, so we got a bunch of great steaks, chicken and seafood cooked off. Everything's ready to go for a great barbecue. I want you to remember two things. Season your food well and don't overcook it. Let's have a great barbecue. Okay, so now that everything is off the grill and in the kitchen, one last thing, want to give your grill one last little scrub before you turn it off and put it away. That way it'll be ready to go for the next time you cook.